Jesus Christ, this isn't going well. Hello and good morning my fellow trucketeers. Uh Today is a day, June 12th, that's the one, yeah, and it's a Wednesday today, I had two days off this week, so I've had Monday and Tuesday off, which is quite nice, now I'm back at work, and as you can see I'm in a sleeper cab at the moment, which is nice, not my truck, someone else's, because someone else didn't come in, and I was spared today, so I'm doing their route, so I'm currently in dead cut, and then I'm sort of around a little sort of near Oxfordish and then head out and do some Berkshire drops. So I'm near my first customer at the moment. It's what, ten to eight? And they usually turn up at half past eight, so I'm forty minutes early. But you just have to wait, don't you? So yeah, I'm gonna hang around for a bit and then sort of carry on the rest of my day. So I'll see you once I've got this delivery done and heading on to the next one. Take it easy. Right, here we are inside the cab now, as you can tell, because, yeah, <laughs> obvious. Right, that was that one done, one pallet off. They tell to put, what, 25 past 8, and we had the pallet in in 5 minutes, done dusted. So now we're heading off to Wallingford to go deliver 4 pallets, and then somewhere else in Wallingford for 1 pallet nice and easy because there's a sleeper cab it's a bit smoother as well it's a bit quieter inside because it's well more insulated because obviously people have to sleep well they don't have to sleep at night because we don't really do nights out but um yeah the sleeper cabs are generally more insulated than the day cabs so it's a lot quieter inside <laughs> not that i don't like the old engine noise or anything <laughs> there you go. So anyway, we're going to be at the next delivery in, well, it says half an hour on there, but it's trying to take me a long way around, whereas I'm going to cut through, because <laughs> I know better. So I'll probably be there in about 15 minutes. So I'll see you when I'm near the next one. Oh, we are right near the next customer in Wallingford. Uh, they've got all these cones here that obviously stop people parking on the road so obviously I'm going to be doing work or have a carnival or something I don't know just making it a bit narrow for me to get down here with other cars coming so I haven't hit any yet but I'm sure I will do I'm just hoping they haven't got any uh, cones outside near the store because I need to pull over until they open the gate <laughs> so I can go in and get on their turntable but well, if I have to stop I have to stop then I I think they might have left enough gap between cones so I can um, squeeze in somewhere. We'll soon find out, I suppose. Will you let me through? Makes sense because I'm on the corner there. Alright, there's a store and there's a security van in the way. Yay! Just what I need. Someone in my way. Oh well. I'll have to uh, try and pull over here a minute and get this gate open. Alright, I'll see you in a bit. Over there. Oh, microphone. That's our delivery done. Four pallets off, one pallet on. I have to wait for that security van to go, but that weren't too bad, because it was in my way. But at least I was off the road the whole time. <sighs> Alright, let me spam around on the turntable. Now I've got to figure out where I'm going next. Let's go on to the next one. Cheers. Uh, 
that one ain't too bad. I mean, if they ain't got any trolleys in their bay, then I can sort of turn around without needing a turntable anyway. It's mainly for their arctics. So they can drive straight in. Because they wouldn't have the room to be able to straighten up otherwise. They'll be able to get in, but it, like I said, they won't be able to straighten up. Apparently all these cones are up because they've got a cycle race coming through here later. So I'm glad I've come through now. Which is rather handy. Don't know what time the place is shut off from, but... You can wait there a second van. Thank you very much. Picking the nose. <laughs> oh, sure, right away, love. Which way are you going? Come on. Yeah. I was waiting for it to turn into gear, mate. Anyway, we're two and a quarter mile, well actually not that far from the next delivery, but I can't cut through anywhere to get there, so I've got to go right to the end, go around at the roundabouts. Yeah, there's a moped behind me beeping, impatient git. <laughs> I was trying to go, just the truck decided I wanted to change gear, so there you go. Alright, so I'll turn the camera off, I'll bring it back in in five minutes I suppose. No, it's we're almost where we need to be. Apparently it's uh, left at the roundabout and it's in there somewhere. There is one thing I do really like about this being a sleeper cab, it's a higher spec model. It has a proper horn on it. Look. That's much better, isn't it? <laughs> Not like these little meep meep that my one does, eh? Wish they all had the air horns. It's a bit more... Uh, surprising the people when they realise they've done something wrong it scares them out of their wits a little bit more <laughs> but hey never more anyway how are you all doing I presume you're all well I've had, had a nice message off one of my subscribers the other day or yesterday well, you'll probably see us about two weeks after you said the message, but he said he's just passed his test. I can't remember who it was now, so I'm sorry. And um, he said that watching some of my videos helped him through it. So, you know, thank you very much. That was a very nice message to receive. Sort of made my day, I did. <laughs> I'll have a look in a bit and I'll, I'll, I'll call out the name in a bit. Can't do it now because I'm driving. I'm using your phone while driving is naughty. So, we can't be naughty. You stay there, love. You thought about it, didn't you? Right. Apparently it's in here. Just gotta find it now. Uh, could be anywhere. I'll have to wait for him to be unloaded first. Hmm. One lorry in at a time. Okay. I presume this is the right place. Right. Looks like I've got to press a buzzer. Right. I'll get someone to let me in, and I'll see you in a bit. Right. Eh? That's our delivery done. Five minutes. What we like. 
Yeah, so the pallet was stacked up on about four pallets, so he only took the top one off. But my next delivery, which is a, a leisure centre by the looks of it, their pallet was not stacked on top of my next delivery after that. So I got him to move that one onto the stack of pallets where he took his pallet off of, so not too bad in the grand scheme of things. Alright, off to my next one now, which like I said is a leisure centre I think, so apparently we're 24 minutes away. So we'll toodle on over that one. And see where the rest of the day takes us, huh? <laughs> I'm glad it weren't now I'm delivering because I reckon he could be a while. Especially if he's got a full trailer to come off. Mind right, you, it looks like they've got a forklift ramp that goes right into the back. Alright, which way are you taking me? Alright, take me that way, are you? Okay. We'll go that way then. Come on, truck, think about it. There we go. Yeah, sometimes when it does that, it just leaves you hanging. <laughs> Alright, let's crack on. See you shortly. Alright, so here we are in Milton Park. Just coming up on the next customer. I believe it's sat nav trying to take me off to the right. I, I think it's the first left. I'll soon find out when we get down there. Yeah, units 11 to 18 this way. So I'll have a look, ski. See if it's down this way. Oh, uh, club. This way. Righto. Look at that. Ain't I good? I ain't even been here before. Ah, is that it? Uh, I'm sure I said it was in here. Oh, sorry, Van. You can fly around the corner a bit quicker. Park Club entrance. All right, there it is. All right, I've just got to find out where this uh, delivery goes. I'm going to end up blocking up the whole car park. Mm. All right, I'll stop here a minute. I'll see you in a bit. All right. That is that delivery done. A bit of an issue with this one. They had four of the wrong flavour drink. So, I've got them on the back and I've had to phone up and call it in and get a code and that, so they can all go back. And now we're going to head off to, was it Ducklington? Ducklington, yeah. Lovely place. Sounds like the best place in the world to live, doesn't it? <laughs> right, now I've got to try and turn around here, which could be fun. I could probably go on the bottom and turn around, but the thing is, I don't know what's around there, so I don't particularly want to try fucking help it. I'd rather just back in here and turn around. It's easy enough. Come on. There we go, chick. Change in the first. You going, Carl, or are you going to let me go? I'll go. Taking forever. Alright, so we are 16 miles away from my next customer now. Which isn't too far really. And I've got three pallets for them, which will come off, which will be nice. Give me a bit of room on the back, turn my hazards off as well. <laughs> Alright, so it's going to take me 33 minutes, so I'll see you in about half an hour. Bye for now. Hello, and here we are coming up to Ducklington, of all places. <laughs> what a great sounding place, eh? 
can't remember if I've been here on video before or not. I don't think I have. I don't know. Maybe. And I'll put a post up about it. <sighs> oh, and if you are interested, visit my Facebook page. w.facebook.com forward slash truckerjono. There's a little plug for you. So, we're only a couple of minutes away from the delivery. I have been here before. Uh, I'm due to get there at 20 past 11. I've got to have my break by 12, so... I might have to get them to unload and I might have to stop in their yard for a break. Last time I went there, they had plenty of room, so I'm sure it won't be an issue, but... We'll see what happens. Oh, excuse me! As soon as I turn the camera on, start yawning. <laughs> it's always the way. Can't yeah. have an arse on again, pass me, before my arse and swings out at you. Turn left, then reach your destination. Yeah, turn left. Somebody who drives his truck logs, the Aussie accent. On the old set now. <laughs> oh dear. After Three meter restriction, that's good because I'm just under four meters. I'm 3.95 meters. There's another truck in there waiting to be unloaded by looks of it. See what happens there. Eh? Uh, see if he wants me over here. Right, I'm gonna get this done and then see if I can have a break somewhere. See you in a bit. Right, I guess I've delivery done. I've had a 15 minute break as well, so I'll clear my work in time for a bit. Yeah, it was three pallets off, four forklift off. That was quite nice there. They have to check everything on the pallet as well, so it takes a bit of time. So, I had plenty of time to sit there and have me break while he was checking. So, now we're going to leave Duckington and we're going to head on down to Lambourne. Well, the south side of Lambourne, it's not in Lambourne itself. I was sat now, was trying to take me across country uh, through all the villages and that, all the way down to Lambourne from here. But, I foresod that, I'd rather hit the 34. I know it's a little bit further to travel, a little bit longer in time essentially, but it's a lot easier to drive that way, so. I'm gonna head out of here, head towards Abingdon, and then hit the A34 there. And then hit the M4, back a junction or two, and then the Lambourne that way, just because it's easier. Sometimes easier is better than quicker, or sometimes, I don't know. Something like that, anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's going to take me about an hour and 20 minutes to get to my next drop, which is going to take my driving time up to four hours, or just under four hours. So, I'm going to have to stop the other half hour after I do my next, well, after I do my collection, which is next, which is where I'm heading to. So, here we are coming up on the next delivery. Well, the collection, even. Uh -huh. Get past this track without taking up any mirrors. There we go. Yeah, we're not far away now. We're only, what, a mile and a quarter? So we come off at junction 14 on the M4. Now we're sort of heading west. Went underneath the M4, now we're heading west. And then we're going to go over the bridge that links the two memory services on the M4. Quite nice. We've got a delivery just the other side of the M4 again. <laughs> yeah. So, we've got a collection here. It's only one pallet, which is ideal. If there's any more, I might struggle to move stuff around. But, yeah, 
should be alright. Only a small one by the looks of it. Oh dear, I'm going to sneeze in a minute. I'll try and hold on. <laughs> I've been to this one a few times now. Every time I've had to collect from them. But I've had to deliver twice as well. But this time no delivery, just a collection. So if you come down this road, if you turn off here, it takes you to the eastbound services on the M4. And then if you take the next right here, it takes you to the westbound services on the M4. <laughs> Between junctions 14 and 13, I think it is. 14 and 15. I can't remember. Something like that. You have reached your destination. It's always handy to know. Technically a service road, so you're not really allowed to use them, but I do deliver to the services sometimes. So I have I have used them roads. It's quite handy. over a bit pal, oh, Jesus. Pot roll bloke in there, think he needs to hand his licensing. <laughs> right, we need to go in, yeah. Jesus! <laughs> I did not see that road, that road up there. That was savage. <laughs> Never mind, eh? Luckily, I've only got like smallish anything worthwhile, small anyway, so it's not going to hurt. Just compressed a couple of my vertebrae. <laughs> All right, let's go get this collection done. And I'll see you in a bit. Alright, there we go. That was nice and easy. One pallet straight on. Luckily when I had my last customer, he pulled a pallet off. So I got some waste from my second customer on one side, which was behind the pallet, one of the pallets from my last customer. So he pulled one off so I had a gap. Luckily the pallet they had there was quite small so it fit in the gap nicely. So ideal really. So all the stuff's out of the way for my next two customers now. And then once their two pallets are off, I'll be able to move everything else around and then have everything exactly how I want it. And everything to be out of the way. And everyone's happy. Yay! Because we like it when people are happy. Alright. So, what time is it? Oh no. I've got nearly an hour driving enough. So we're going to head off to Chippy Services so I can have the rest of my break. Take me over half hour actual half hour I'm supposed to take and then uh, we're heading to is it Stockton? Stock Cross. Then the Stock Cross and then do my next delivery. It should be nice and easy. You're welcome sir. There's no point me coming out and blocking the road for you so you could go across. Get across. That would have been a dick move from me. Anyway, let's crack on to having me break. Change the battery in my camera because it's almost empty. And then go off and do full deliveries around the Newbury area. Aha. See you in a bit. Right, here we are. Just coming off the A34 and towards essentially the top end of Newbury, but we're not actually going into Newbury yet. Yes. 
we will in a bit. Just got to go to stock. Stock or something. Stock cross, that's it. I knew it was something, stock. Yeah, so we had a break. Very nice. Had me salad and had me sandwich. Uh, all nice and fueled up now for me last few, four drops, which are all <laughs> sort of very close to each other. <laughs> yeah. All is good. Goods inwards. I mean, I've got to go in that way then. I, uh, yeah, I gather I've got to go in that way then. Bugger. That means I'm going to have to turn around then. That's how good it is for the golf club, but I don't think it is. Oh, bugger, I've got to try and turn around now. Quite obvious what I'm doing. <laughs> Come on then. Thank you. That was very nice of the postman, he didn't have to let me go. We could have carried on. Really? I don't fucking think so somehow. Hmm. I don't think this is right somehow. So it's good inwards. Really need to cut these trees back. Hmm. I have a feeling this is not for the hotel. Or is it? Ah, yes, maybe it is. Okay. That's a bit of a bugger to get down, that's very tight. Oh well. Should have backed in it really. Oh. Alright, I'll go out and turn around and come back down backwards. Make life a lot easier. a very good delivery area this was it you know they can make it a little bit more roomy just by cutting the trees back I don't think of that though do they I think, oh, I don't matter it's just a delivery vehicle Jesus Christ, this isn't going well. Not a flow of trees. Oh well. Not 
what I could do about that. I was hoping to try and back down there. So I'm not going to be able to. Oh. If I can go over a little bit more from here. better for a seven half tonner to do I think. I'm a bit big to be down here. branches off the tree but oh well. Send us to these places, the truck's gonna get damaged didn't they? Alright, let's stop here and try and find someone. I'll see you once I'm done. <laughs> Alright, that's that one done. <laughs> I'm glad that was the actual delivery area. Um, I had a quick look on the outside of the truck and nothing more than a little bit of foliage stuck in some of the gaps, the panel gaps, and then a couple of branch marks. Yeah, that's not really the ideal road to sort of be driving this down, but never mind. It is what it is. Like I said, they make us go to these places to deliver. The truck's going to get some marks on it, so not a lot I can do about that. I'd rather it be my truck, because it's older than this one. There you go. Alright, so we've got another hotel to go to now. Which is in Donington, which is pretty much the other side of the A34 from where I am now. I presume. I think I may have done this one before. I'm not entirely sure. Obviously it would have been easier if I'd come into this place, coming from this way, coming from the way I'm going now. Rather than going down the road, turning around and coming back in and turning in. Because I would have been able to do it in one, rather than taking a shunt. But, <laughs> live and learn, and it? Never mind. I know for the future now, so that's that one done. Off to the next one. I'll see you soon. gonna have to go because I can't get in with you there. Oh goods inwards this way. In only. That would have been easy to go through normal entrance, there's more room. <laughs> yeah it is the one I was thinking of. Come on, there you go, quickly, because I'm going to need all that room. This is going to be a tricky reverse. I'm going to have to mount that curb slightly, just pinch a little bit off without hitting the car, and then without my front end hitting this. There. He's looking a bit panicked there, isn't he? 
I'm not going to let you power that worry. Because <clears throat> I've got a little card that says I'm a professional driver. <laughs> that means I can do it. <laughs> thing is getting out is like 10 times harder. But we'll cope. Alright, I think that's going to have to do. Alright, go get someone and I'll see you in a bit. Alright, that's that delivery done. You had to check everything, considering you did that. What, 16 minutes I've been here? So, can't complain at all. Alright, that van's now gone, so that's going to make my life a bit easier. But, it does mean I'm going to have to reverse the whole way down the car park here. Which, to be honest, isn't a hard thing to do. Because I just can't turn around it. So... Hazards on, reverse beep is beeping away, reverse camera, oh mirror is checked, <laughs> away we go. One thing I've never got is when people sort of look over their shoulder when reversing like in the car and they look over put their arm up on the passenger seat and look over their shoulder I, not that I can't reverse like that I just find it awkward and uncomfortable I've always been one to use my mirrors for reversing and it's just the easiest way it just makes sense so I want to see people do that I think it's, why would you twist yourself up like that and make yourself all uncomfortable just, just use your mirrors that's what they're there for <laughs> It's not that difficult. But I can do it. <laughs> Alright, there we go, nice and easy. Alright, so we're going to head back into Newbury and do a store in Newbury and then a store in Thatcham and then home time. So, I'm going to say that's been a good day so far. It's 3 o'clock now. I started at 6, bearing in mind. So, what, about another two hours, we'll say, to get these two deliveries done and then get back to the yard, unloaded, and get ready to go home. <laughs> so what, five o'clock finish, 11 hour day, not too bad. Can't really complain, never can really. All right, so here we are, nearly at the other delivery. I literally turned the camera off for two minutes and that was it. <laughs> Weren't that far. Could have filmed the whole thing then, but I might have made it a bit of a long video then. No, I don't want to give you too much content, you get bored of me. Christ, I'm bored of me already. Hesitate a fiesta, I could have gone then. Oh, you let me out here. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. And that nice of him. I knew he was going to flash me out, I would have gone anyway. There you go. There are some nice people out there. Alright, let's go in and see if their truck's here. If their truck's here, then it's going to be tricky because I can't back out here because of all these cars parked here in the way. Hopefully... Yay, no one's there. I'll get straight on the bay. Just nice. Someone's hit that wall again. Jesus. Don't know how they manage it. 
Oh yeah, not paying attention on Russian. That's how they manage it. <laughs> you get paid by out by the hour. You've got no excuse to rush. I think that's right. You don't have to rush, in other words, what I'm trying to say. Pay by the hour, take your time. Obviously, don't take the piss, but yeah. You know, there is a fine line and a balance. <laughs> All right, I'll stop yakking. Let's get this delivery done. I'll see you in a bit. All right, delivery done. Raise me up. There we go. So that was quite nice and easy. Three pallets off, and two pallets on. And now I've reconfigured everything so it's all nice and even in the back of the truck. Two next two pallets for the last customer, pretty much lined up, ready to come off. So next one should be a flying visit, which is quite nice. Now you can shush. Current route clear. There we go. this way. I miss all these cars that are parked there very awkwardly on double yellows and on a corner. They don't think, do they? <laughs> oh, so I'm going to head down this way and turn around. Now there's a little turning down there that goes past the little school. And I remember this turning specifically because when I was being taught to drive, I was coming the other way. And he said, because I was like, oh, that wasn't too bad, get around this corner, that corner, whatever. He said, right, try and get in this one then. And coming the other way, it is impossible to get around this corner without hitting the curb. It's just about doable from this way. Yeah, you come from the other way, yeah, no chance. Yeah, just. But yeah, you come from the other way, you are going to hit a curb, there is no doubt about it. So yeah, he sort of said, but he said, don't worry, because the... The examiner don't take people down this way. <laughs> so I was like, thank God for that. Alright, let's see if anyone's parked anywhere silly. So I can't get through. I think we'll be alright. Anyway, I'm going to head off to Thatcham. So why, uh, yeah, take a look. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to help the Thatcham, and I'll uh, see you in a bit. Here we are, almost at the last drop for the day. Got that engine brake working. <laughs> or exhaust brake, retarder, whatever you want to call it. Come on, Van, you can flash me through. Their truck on the bay. The Marav is because I'll just tail lift it off. No, it's not. I do need this car to shift on. Delivery done, I'll see you in a bit. Righto, let's press the magic button and start my journey home. There we go. Alright, so that's the last delivery done. Two pallets off, three pallets on. They gave me more than they gave them. It's not fair. 
never mind. It's not like I didn't have room for it. <laughs> so that's that done. That's all my deliveries done. All ten of them and the collection. I can't remember. I can't remember if it's a ten with the collection or ten without the collection. I don't know. Anyway, I went to ten and or eleven places. <laughs> but now it's done. It's gonna be about an hour till I get home, so it's gonna be what five o'clock back in the yard. By the time I got everything off, about half past five, I'll be leaving. So not too bad, not too bad at all. Can't complain. Eleven and a half hour day, so all is good. But I must say, an enjoyable day. I quite enjoyed that today. <sighs> so I suppose I'll um, I'll leave that one there. <laughs> so yeah, if you've got this far, then thank you very much for watching. It's much appreciated. If you liked it, then hit that thumbs up, give it a like. Every little helps. Um, if you're not subscribed, then smash that subscribe button. And if you want notifications for when I release my videos, then hit the bell icon. Um, I, will, I release my videos every Monday and Thursday at 8pm anyway. But I do release the odd video in between sometimes. Uh, share it with someone you think might like it. You know, share the love. And... Um, yeah, if, if not, I'll plug my Facebook page again, so it's w.facebook.com forward slash truckerjono. I occasionally post pictures of my day and sometimes little video clips that don't that I don't post on YouTube. Or that are unlisted on YouTube, so you can't see them on YouTube, you have to go on my Facebook to see them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. That was Oxford, Lambourne, Newbury. Fashion. So yeah, not too bad. Can't complain. Oh, still tired. Always tired. That would be me if I wasn't tired. <laughs> right, I'll leave that there. So, thank you again for watching. Take it easy. Look after yourselves. Drive safely. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbyes! Ha 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 ha.